Jones. Ha! And then this gets a little bit trippy. Producer Max Geiger. Dude, Max, you're a genius. This game is awesome. Oh, cr oh, oh. Oh wow, I got lucky. I built it to span a hundred lifetimes, and instead, to be buried in one, a monument for weeds. Come on, keep going. All right. The dining hall was full of people, like the old days. It smelled like roasted goose. For a moment, I was happy. I'm the king! Looks happy. Oh, never mind. And suddenly, I was alone again. The world had become cold and dark. I felt my own death rising up around me. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty deep. And you pick it up, and you move it right there, and I missed. Screw that one. Where the hell did it... okay. Put it right there, and then jump on it. Alright, then you go through here. And then you see your monument after a while, I think. Narrator Julie Pari. Good job, Julie Pari. Great narrator. There's a little little teddy bear. I floated past chunks of the house I built. Oh ten years later, and the whole thing was in ruins. My works were meant to last forever, but most of them will be gone before I am. And you're like five minutes to live, old man. All right, so yeah, never press a uh, clean canvas while you're on this thing because it'll delete it. Ah, man, we're almost done. We're literally almost done. An hour and thirteen minutes and fifteen seconds. King. Terry Gilliam. Okay, so it's not Liam Neeson. Do I need this? Funeral, my own, as it turned out. No one was there except you. Oh, there we are. There he is. And now you're him, as you can see by the mirror. LOL! I'm just kidding, don't do that. Alright, so yeah, now you're that guy. I saw my monument. My last hope of leaving something that would live on after me. And I began to walk towards it. And with each step I took, I got larger. I just kept growing and growing like a teenager. Excellent.
and that's when you showed up. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy, and that someday they will say, he is a better man than his father. But don't I'm the child? Anywhere you want to go, but be quickly turned. None of this will last for long. And that Yo! Time, even though he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He painted. Wait a minute! Okay, so now I get it. The first time I played this game, I had no idea who that dude was. I didn't even know we were related, but I'm the king's son. Remember how she left? She took that painting with her? That one? Bruh. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the game right there. We could literally go back and play it again. If we wanted to, but I don't. I just wanted to do this for the... For the thing. For the walkthrough. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure as heck did. It only took me an hour and... 16 minutes, almost 17 minutes. I thought it would take me two. I thought I'd have to take two sessions, but no. Alright, guys, this has been Video Gamester. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more indie games like this. I'm thinking about doing other one. Anyways, people, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!